Hello, welcome to my Web University free education videos. On this video, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, interface that I built using a Python program. And this interface is going to allow you to just uh, type in any Unix uh, Linux command, basically Linux Ubuntu in this case, um, that you can search for and then uh, learn the command and then understand how to use it and read the manual pages. You don't need to install a Linux operating system in order to do so. All you need is a browser and internet access and you visit the URL mywebuniversity.com slash cgi dash bin slash man dot cgi and then right here is the URL question mark cmd is equal whatever the command that you're searching for let's say you're looking for system D it will just <clears throat> display the output for you on this interface here and then this is um, basically searchable by just using this um, search bar and then um, just go down and then um, it is um, readable all of the information here and um, you can do the same thing with any command, any uh, Linux command, for example, init uh, or uh, get system uh, D or system CTL. And another command is a journal CTL. And this is uh, not um, only giving you uh, Linux and um, uh, commands as well as um, utilities um, in um, for example docker containers you can get the information on docker and read the manual pages on that one and then there, if there's any thing with the C also section you can also read further on that one for example if you do a command like ls command a simple command ls you can see it gives you all the details of it uh, similarly, you can type in like uname. So basically, any Unix and um, Linux man pages, especially Linux Ubuntu or CentOS related, their system D or init uh, level, system 5 release 4, those commands are available, including the <coughs> section 3 of um, for example, uh, like printf statement, um, which is a function, as well as um, a scanf uh, statement uh, function that is um, in C and C++. Uh, for example, you can get uh, GCC, uh, the GNU C uh, collection compilers. You can uh, get that information or G++, uh, sorry. I type in G plus minus, uh, I mean G plus equal, G plus plus GNU um, C uh, plus plus compiler uh, information. You can get all the details of it. And uh, it is nice because it gives you uh, some of the syntax uh, related to it. And so GNU debugger, for example, in GD, uh, DB. Uh, and then you can get um, Python, for example for Python um, version 2 or Python 3 version uh, 3 you can get um, information on that one as well or PEP3 for um, Python installer packages um, that um, you can uh, use that one to install for example a uh, regular expression or a Python request or your lab or NumPy or those other Python packages that uh, doesn't come as a standard Python uh, package, you can use PEP3 to install them. And <clears throat> apt, for example, apt-get uh, apt is the uh, advanced packaging toolkit for um, and just um, Ubuntu um, related uh, Debian version. You can do apt-cache, apt-get, and then um, all those other packages that are related there and then as you can see I have this see also section and if you do, do read them the see also there's more command like for example Debian packages um, Debian PKG 
Uh, you can get manual pages on that one. It is all dynamically generated as you go. So it is uh, not just uh, static. You can get any command that you want and then uh, get it. For example, let's say PS3, process tree, uh, stream uh, 3. You can get that one. And if you just are looking at this process output, for example, clear my screen and then say um, PS3 process tree of 1, which is the mother of all process system D, you can see that the, the process are showing in details with all that related information. If I'm looking for my bash, PS3 of my bash, dollar sign, dollar sign, which would be 15281, it will be the same thing, echo, dollar sign, dollar sign will do this. LSOF, um, let's say dollar sign, dollar sign, the process ID of that one minus P for the process ID of it. Um, so LSOF requires a minus P and then the process ID number. In this case, I did that one. If I just uh, replace that one with um, one, you can see that uh, the system D uh, is uh, calling it, but uh, it just shows permission denied. So I have to uh, become root here and then run that command after I become root. <clears throat> Now I'm root and then I say LSOF minus P1, you will see the output of all those processes there with details. Similarly, if I do a PWDX1, it shows that it restarted from that P map of um, if it is shows their um, process map of this. So you can also come here and then say, what does PWDX do? Uh, it just tell, tells you report current working directory of a process and executable um, and that were running there. And then uh, what does uh, the P uh, map do? For example, process map uh, do. You can just get that information here. And uh, what does P grep do? P uh, process grep. Um, if you do that one, you can get the man pages here and you can do a pgrep or pkill on the process that uh, it is running uh, there. So a lot of these uh, commands are available in a lot of outputs. I just wanted to show you that um, you don't need a Unix or Linux um, uh, kind of operating system to be installed in order to see the manual pages. All you have to do is visit my website uh, called mywebuniversity.com and you will see thousands of thousands of uh, pages, especially if you're, if you're looking for dynamically uh, getting uh, an output of a, a man page on the display without being in front of a Unix command. All you need is an internet browser, uh, a browser access, as well as um, and just uh, an interface to log into the page. So, for example, let's say you're looking for this command, disk usage, du, and then you can get the man page and read it and then practice it. And then you come back on your Linux command and you say, okay, let's say I come in on home directory and cd to wlutfi, uh, cd to home, wahid, <clears throat> and then here I have these files. If I do a disk usage minus a search summary, I can get a disk um, and human readable summary of human readable of all files with size for each of the directory that I have there. And um, <clears throat> similarly, like a df -k, uh, h um, that does um, give you this. So you can say what is df does. Df it says report file system disk space usage. And then you can uh, read the man pages here and you can just practice it at the command prompt here clear screen df-h it will say okay this is minus h for human readable and it will give you in gigabyte on the file system on this um, and then um, commands like copy see, um, and move ls whatever all those other basic commands are there too and in addition i have um, this uh, Unix manual pages. So if you go to mywebuniversity.com slash man pages, you're all always welcome to see this static documents that I have already produced for you. And for each one of them, you don't have to just um, type in anything. You just click on like open Solaris command 
and then uh, you get the list of all the Solaris command 13,000 different documentation on it and then when you are looking for like let's say ZFS here you just uh, control C and say ZFS and then let me just go back to the page I just uh, well, somehow uh, got out of that page and uh, I went to uh, the documentation uh, my web university main page so right here I should be here and then type in ZFS and then ZFS and then uh, since and this one is um, right here displaying it I can click on it and get the output uh, information and read it and um, if I'm back on the Linux commands uh, just on the Linux manual pages right here where it says uh, Linux manual pages I can get all those um, information here for example I was showing you for um, system D uh, system D here you can see and G system D is there there's um, G system D that sleep there's a lot of system D related so the one that I'm interested in is, uh, by itself is system D uh, look at how many of them were there with system D only so um, and that's why the other command is much much uh, more easier uh, to just look for the particular one that you're looking for and uh, there on the command line if you're there um, you could just get the information uh, faster there's a lot for this uh, command so let's uh, search for um, uh, system uh, journal CTL that um, journal CTL so this journal CTL is right here and you can click on it and you get to, to read the manual pages but if you're interested to just get a particular one without um, uh, just um, searching after uh, commands you're welcome to use this interface that I built in for you with Python you just type in systemd and then it will just give you the output for systemd any command that you're um, looking for it is always there so um, if you're looking for learning bash scripting you can look at this one this is maybe 400 um, pages of uh, PDF documentation on a bash script but it's all in the text um, here that's available for you you can just um, browse through it and read it and practice uh, the commands I hope you enjoyed it have a nice one uh, thanks for watching and uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like to uh, watch more of these kind of videos I'll be glad to provide you these kind of videos um, uh, on a daily basis as you just use them um, thanks um, have a nice one take care love and peace for all bye